All I can say about that last six minutes is, wow. My goodness, that, that play by Chris Wilkin, if the Barons go on to win this game, will be an intramural hockey lore forever. And we're just glad that we here at Barons TV could capture that on film for you, because that was some kind of hustle and heart by Chris Wilkin to clear that puck off the line and bail out his goaltender. He tried to come out and glove it. There were so many opportunities for the Americans to win this game. Olsen allowed to take a shot? <laughs> That's a great question. If Olsen could shoot, you no doubt think he would do it, even with his goalie pads. And heck, I'd even give him better odds with scoring with a left-handed stick from center ice than most of the Americans at this point. But, you do know that the Americans have two ringers. They'll no doubt be shooting. And honestly, without the Schwefinger brothers, I don't know who's going to take these shots for the Barons. Sands, of course, Andrew Zickel. Championship game MVP. If I had to take a guess, I would say the Barons would go with Paula, Zickel, and either Miranda or Coates. But we'll see who... Matt Ripley and Corey Olsen decide to go with. No doubt, they're going to be the two making the decision. Perhaps veteran leaders Nick Sanders and Eric Yost as well. I definitely agree with Ball. Skating first. Olsen is choosing to... The Barons, excuse me, have chosen to shoot last. Shooting first to the Americans will be their ringer in the Red Sox. Scored the first goal. Takes in slowly, takes it to his backhand, tries a shot, and it goes wide! That's what the Barons needed, and it's going to be Chris Wilkin! With a chance to write a storybook ending to this game with that defensive play, and perhaps score a shootout goal that might put his team in the final. Olsen giving Wilkin some advice. Wilkin will skate in against the largely untested American goaltender. Wilkin. A heavy touch there. Comes in. Goes back in a pointer. Oh! He tried a backhand, forehand deep, but the puck got a little too far out in front of him and he couldn't get it cleanly enough to elevate it. Now a skater here for the Americans. Gives Olsen a friendly, perhaps cocky point. This is not the second of their two ringers. He'll no doubt shoot third for the Americans. Skating in slowly. Looks up. Olsen's covering. A wrister. It's gloved down by Olsen. Great save there. The shot hit him squarely in the torso, and Olsen made every doubt to not let that one get through him. Now Andrew Bickle will shoot second for the Bears. Last season's championship game. MVP. He'll skate in. Andrew Bickle. Deacon around. Shoots it. He simply shot it right at the goaltender. And it's a great save, nevertheless. And this remains 0-0 zero to zero with one shooter left aside. And then we'll go to sudden death. Here is the Americans' second ringer. And a goal that could send the Americans to the final. Skating in. Goes to the forehand. Olsen, great save with the blocker! That was a rather weak attempt. You expect more. It's going to be Rick Lehman for the Barons. I apologize. I was wrong on my predictions. But Lehman has scored clutch goals. And I know I keep repeating that, but it's simply true. He had a big goal in the win against the Nordiques in the semifinals last quarter. Can he send the Barons to the final with a goal here in the shootout? Lehman moving in. Back in the corner. Shoot! Oh! Rick Lehman! And the, we'll see you tomorrow night here as the Barons continue their undefeated 2011 and will play for the second t-shirt tomorrow night.
And this handshake line, you have to think these players are going to congratulate each other. On ultimate mutual respect. And now, color commentator Andrew Schleppinger is walking back away. Just celebrates. Okay. Matt Ripley looking very excited here. You have to think the Americans are going to be kicking themselves for all those chances, but my goodness. Corey Olsen stood on his head all night long, and when he couldn't quite make an initial save on a breakaway, it was Chris Wilkin there to clear the puck off the goal line, and then Rick Lehman in the shootout in the third round for the Barons, snipes it top shelf. Sending the Barons to tomorrow night's intra intramural hockey league beginner final. We'll have that one for you tomorrow night, just past midnight. It'll be the Barons against the winner of tonight's later Arenas versus North Stars game. And as the players leave the ice, we no doubt look forward to the post game interviews here on Barons TV. Barons with a nail biter, three to two in the shootout. On a game-winning goal by Rick Lehman. Good night, folks, and we'll see you tomorrow in the championship.